Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told. Tarot, this is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's see what we have for you for the week. This will be from the 7th to the 13th of February 2022. Remember, these readings are for seven days, so quite a short space of time. I am kind of just doing the tarot this week and I will be using the oracle cards at the end, Aquarius. Okay, so what do we have for Aquarius, please? So we have the Page of Wands. Oh, with that, I've got, I've got two cards. So we have the Empress as well. Well, that's beautiful. Okay. We have the Magician in the Challenge position, manifesting. But for whatever reason, it's been a challenge. We have the Page of Cups, Advice from Spirit. We have the High Priestess, the Eight of Pentacles, the Chariot, <laughs> Ten of Cups, lovely. Bottom of the deck, the King of Wands. King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, male or female energy, or the energy of the card. Could be you, could be, could be another person. I feel in this case, it could be somebody close to you here, Aquarius. I mean, it could be your energy as well. I feel this is a beautiful energy here of... of there's the creation of something new. Um... It feels a lot of you like money and career. Though if you have been challenged in terms of pregnancy or things like that, you know, this could be a positive time for some of you as well. We have the Empress. Very good in terms of pregnancy. Good in terms of love, romance, relationships. Also very good in terms of money, career, finances. She's abundant across all of those areas. So certainly an energy here of, of a time is coming where there's greater fulfillment and a new beginning or next level energy coming your way. It certainly feels Aquarius that for some of you, you are going to get some positive news. The Page of Wands does mark a new beginning of some level. Could be, like I said, next level for you or a brand new beginning somewhere. Can represent some opportunity as well coming your way. Good news to do with an opportunity. But, cannot, like I said, can link, can link in with pregnancy, love, romance, relationships. The message is that it's an abundant time coming your way. Now, and that will be for some of you as well. Again, the Empress can sometimes be to do with motherhood. Uh, very good in terms of if it's business, it can be a powerful business lady as well or powerful businesswoman. Bringing in this opportunity or sending you news to do with this opportunity. Again, it, it just feels it's a time of great abundance for you, Aquarius. And it's something that you've been working towards, though it's not been easy. So again... Those areas that I've spoken about. This is a card of hard work. To manifest something and make it happen has been hard work. And the magician is the energy of self-belief. Knowing that you have the capability through sheer hard work and focus and a level of patience to manifest whatever you set your intention on. But remember when the magician appears, the magic is there, the magic is within you and around you, but it's not easy. You know, the magician has failed a number of times before he gets to be that finely tuned machine of the magician. So I feel this is where, maybe for some of you, it has been a rocky road to get to this point. There may well have been some setbacks that you have experienced and this, that the need to keep on working through the situation that you were in to bring that transformation. However, the Empress does mark a new beginning, a significant new beginning, the creation of something new, the birth of something new. 
we have the page of cups and the chariot again the chariot spirit is saying this this journey has not been easy it has been it has had its challenges you may have had some knockbacks however that determination of working through something step by step day by day staying focused and keeping your eye on the end goal even though you have knockbacks is going to bring in some victory in the near future could be like i said a message that's coming your way you know this can be a message to do with a victory it can also be a message of support here that a victory is coming your way um, this could be somebody else around you saying don't worry you're going to get there you know just keep on going when you felt like you wanted to throw in the towel this is that energy of no just keep on going keep on going you're going to get you know you're going to get to the end goal and spirit is saying that's that's absolutely the case it might well also be there's messages on another level you know like i said could be in terms of love could be in terms of pregnancy could be in terms of money and career either way it's all linked to some significant success victory coming your way but it's not been easy King of Wands is somebody who represents somebody in their power. This could be you. This could be somebody who you're dealing with. Uh, it could be, for example, again, if it's the Empress energy, this could be somebody, I mean, it could be somebody who works with this Empress. This could also be an energy of somebody who is offering you the opportunity. So King of Wands energy, again, male or female energy, is a go-getting energy, somebody who's driven, who is empowered and we see the king go back on his throne so if this is to do with the money career finance thing there's certainly an energy of you will be back on your throne by the action that you have taken again it might well be a powerful leader in business male or female energy the king is more masculine but male or female energy this is somebody who is driven who is a go-getter who has a lot of energy and charisma about them uh, you might well be you might well be dealing with the king of wands like i said this could be somebody in your life part of the home the family the relationship here this is the rainbow of blessings the happy ever after and again the high priestess energy just knowing i feel in this energy just knowing that you are aligning to the right path through trusting your intuition this far for the, some of you it might well be that you'll meet if it's to do with a business thing and again it could well be to do with a pregnancy thing like i said or a relationship thing this is where you have trusted your intuition and in certain circumstances you may have met somebody and thought you know this just feels right i just feel this is looking good i feel connected to this person i could work at this place you know the signs are going in the right direction in whatever area and it's leading me to the happy ever after the happy home the abundant home uh, feeling completely fulfilled and happy on every level because you're not feeling lack anymore and that is what the empress is is signifying you don't feel lack anymore so whatever area of your life has been challenged that has been taken a lot of hard work this is the energy of i don't feel it anymore i certainly am on the path certainly feeling it's looking good in the near future and then spirit is saying you're going to get the victory so i feel i feel for some of you there's just this inkling that you're getting that the end is in sight that things are going in the right direction and things are looking really positive and then you might hear about the victory the success here and again some news it just feels really positive aquarius but it, it, the cards certainly show it hasn't been easy however spirit is saying you're near the end of this now. Okay, final message for Aquarius. And it ends very positively. Yeah, and we have the sunshine card. So life energy. The happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. You know, it's a really hopeful reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.